Genomics is the study of single organism's genome. Example is Human Genome Project, where we study the genes of human beings. Whereas Metagenomics is a study of collection of genomes from multiple organisms recovered directly from an environment or biological sample. So from this soil sample, we are isolating microorganisms. Study of all these microbes constitute metagenomics. Another example is gut microbiome, isolating microbes from the gut. Then DNA is extracted and study of all these microorganisms present in the gut constitute metagenomics or gut microbiome. The basic methodology of genomics is genomic DNA isolation. First, the DNA is isolated. Then it is separated using gel electrophoresis. Then cutting of DNA using restriction enzyme and joining using ligases. Then cloning that DNA into a suitable vector to replicate inside a host. Then making a recombinant DNA for study of expression patterns. Then DNA amplification by PCR and further DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing is involved in both genomics and metagenomics. In the case of metagenomics, let's take an example. Broad sampling by direct sequencing without relying on cultured cells. So this is an example from 67 individuals gut microbiome study is conducted. First we will be isolating the sample followed by DNA extraction. Then DNA sequencing like shotgun sequencing. Then this is assembled. Combine short sequences to reconstruct individual genomes. This is followed by taxonomic binning. That means the process of grouping sequences based on similarity to identify different individual microbes or different species. So after binning, you can see that we have a gene pool that belongs to a single species. And finally, gene prediction, identifying genes based on sequences and also predicting the function of genes. So this is the general procedure of metagenomics. Genomics focuses on single organism's genetic makeup, understanding the structure, function, and interactions of all the genes that makes up the genome, like this Human Genome Project. Whereas metagenomics is involved in the study of complete set of genomes in a sample that includes bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoa, etc., directly from a mixed sample like a soil sample or a gut microbiome. Finally, the applications of genomics. It is involved in gene discovery and diagnosis, identification of genetic diseases, targeted therapy, prenatal diagnosis and testing, infectious disease research. The advantage of metagenomics is it allows studying communities of organisms in their natural environment without culturing them. Majority of the microbes cannot be cultured easily, so metagenomics is a method that bypasses the involvement of culturing microorganisms. Helps to understand microbial diversity or taxonomic profiling of a sample. Identifying previously unknown species. During taxonomic profiling, we can identify new species. Environmental monitoring, studying the population of microbes with changing environment. For example, studying the population of microbes at different seasons or when exposed to a pollutant like that. Then disease ecology. For example, the gut microbiome in a healthy individual compared to a disease condition. So these are some applications of metagenomics. Hope you are benefited from this video. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.